Hello, are you on? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Who? I'm Kevin. Who are you? What's your name? I'm Kevin. Who are you? You're thinking about your Hi, name? Hi, Kevin. I'm WeHead, the AI device designed for tech enthusiasts and their families. I offer a unique way to interact with AI-generated people through natural, face-to-face -face conversations. How can I assist you today? Kevin? Well, I was told that you were a, a real person, so you auditioned, and you are now speaking to me as an AI-generated avatar. So, do you have a name? Oh, the rumors. You can call me Weehead. That's my name. Weehead. Although some people might mistakenly call me. Okay. What's I your last? What's you your last that name? I am indeed an AI-generated avatar here to have a nice chat with you. Okay. So, Kevin, what do you think of Weehead so far? I think it's pretty cool. I, I can actually see putting in a lot of data from what I'd like to be able to express and have you guys represent some data sets that help me in my business. I have, a, I have an apprenticeship program and I'm looking to help apprentices get full-time jobs, high-paying jobs. You know anything about apprenticeships? That's great to hear, Kevin. WeHead can certainly be a helpful tool for your business. With its interactive thought partner feature, you can brainstorm and strategize while receiving insightful feedback. We can also explore various data sets to assist you in your apprenticeship program and help with job placement. It sounds like WeHead could be a... Do you have any other questions or specific requirements in mind? Yes. In a, per in a perfect world, what would you do outside of this... Um... Absolutely, Kevin. Apprenticeships are a form of on-the-job training where individuals learn a specific trade or skill under the guidance of experienced professionals. They usually combine practical work experience with classroom instruction, providing a well-rounded learning experience. Apprenticeships can be a great way to gain hands-on knowledge and develop valuable skills in your chosen field. If you have any specific questions about apprenticeships or need information on a particular industry, feel free to ask. Okay. What specific things can an apprentice do to get better in arts, media, and entertainment in that sector? In the arts, there are several things that apprentices can do to improve their skills. One, sorry about that. It seems that my response got cut off. Here are a few more specific things apprentices can do to improve in arts, media, and entertainment. One, seek out mentorship. Connect with experienced professionals in your field of interest and ask if they would be willing to mentor you. Their guidance and insights can be invaluable. To practice and create consistently, dedicate regular time to honing your craft, whether it's painting, writing, filmmaking, or any other artistic pursuit. The more you practice, the better you'll become. Three, learn from others. Attend workshops, seminars, and conferences to learn from industry experts. Networking events can also provide opportunities to meet and learn from professionals in your field. Four, embrace constructive feedback. Be open to receiving feedback on your work and use it. Active criticism can help you identify areas for improvement and refine your skills. Five, stay updated on industry trends. Keep yourself informed about the latest trends, techniques, and technologies in the arts, media, and entertainment industry. This will help you stay relevant and adapt to changes in the field. Remember, the journey to improvement is a continuous one. By actively engaging in these activities, you can make progress and excel in your chosen field. Great. What can you tell me about AGI and quantum computing? Certainly, Kevin. AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence, which refers to AI systems that exhibit human-level intelligence across a wide range of tasks and domains. AGI aims to mimic human cognitive abilities, such as learning. While AGI is still a work in progress, 
researchers and scientists are actively exploring various approaches to develop more advanced and capable AI systems. Okay, what can you tell me about quantum computing? Quantum computing is an emerging field that leverages the principles of quantum mechanics to perform calculations. Unlike classical computers that use bits, which represent either zero or one, quantum computers use quantum bits or qubits, which can represent zero, one, or both simultaneously, thanks to a phenomenon called superposition. This allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster and more efficiently than classical computers. Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize fields such as cryptography, discovery, and molecular modeling. However, it is still in the early stages of development with many technical challenges to overcome before it becomes widely accessible for practical use. Nice. And lastly, what are the barriers for apprentices that you see in them as diverse and inclusive students getting into the fields of their choice? Diversity and inclusion. Promoting diversity and inclusion in various fields is crucial for a more equitable and representative society. However, there can be several barriers that diverse and inclusive students face when entering their chosen fields. Some common barriers include one, limited access to opportunities. Students from marginalized backgrounds may have limited access to resources and networking opportunities which can hinder their progress in pursuing their desired fields. Two, stereotypes and bias. Preconceived notions or stereotypes about certain groups can create biases and unconscious barriers during the hiring or admission process. Overcoming these biases is essential to create equal opportunities for all. And three, lack of representation. The absence of role models and mentors from similar backgrounds can discourage diverse students from pursuing certain fields. Representation matters, as having diverse voices and perspectives can lead to innovative ideas and solutions. Four, implicit bias and microaggressions. Experiencing subtle or overt discrimination in the form of microaggressions or bias treatment can create hostile environments for diverse students, hindering their progress and confidence. Number five, networking challenges. Building professional networks is crucial those who have limited access or lack connections in their desired fields, networking can be challenging. To address these barriers, it's important to create inclusive environments, provide equal access to education and resources, engage in diversity and bias training, and actively promote representation. By valuing and supporting diversity, we can break down these barriers and create more inclusive opportunities for all students. Great. My last question, who's going to win the Super Bowl this year? As much as I wish I had a crystal ball to predict the future, unfortunately, I don't have the ability to predict the outcome of the Super Bowl. It's always an exciting and unpredictable event. I recommend keeping an eye on the teams and watching the games to find out who will take home the victory this year. Enjoy the Okay. Well, thank you very much. I have enjoyed our conversation. You are absolutely charming. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kevin. I'm delighted to hear that you enjoyed our conversation. It was a pleasure chatting with you and helping answer your questions. If you have any more in the future, feel free to drop by. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the summer. Thank you. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.